Hi everyone, my name is Jason Ramos Lalang and I am here to discuss the new growth theory. So first of all, why is the world measurably richer today than a century ago? Why have some nations grown more than the others? So in this discussion, we emphasize what they exactly mean of knowledge in the context of economic growth. So the new growth theory is the emphasis of knowledge and the human capital. A primary concern of the new growth economics is knowledge in its relations to growth in that the focus of development of knowledge is seen as a key driver of economic development. The implication is that in order to develop the economies should move away from an inclusive reliance on physical resources to expanding their knowledge base and support the institution that help develop and share knowledge. What is New Growth Theory? The New Growth Theory is an economic concept positing the human desires and unlimited wants foster ever-increasing productivity and economic growth. In terms of human desires and unlimited wants, by means of new growth theory can help to boost or to think about what shall we do. And makakatulong ito to, to boost the development of one individuals and the company, especially the economy. The desires and wants of the populace of the populace is drive ongoing productivity and the economic growth by means of investment or also known as the human capital. When we say the human capital refers to the fact that human beings invest in themselves by means of education, training, or other activities which raises their future income by increasing their life earnings. Also, the New Growth Theory argues that real domestic product per person will perpetually increase because of people pursuit of profits. The New Growth Theory known as endogenous growth model because it internalized the technology into a model of how markets function. This theory developed by Paul Romer, an American economist, placed greater emphasis on the concept of human capital. For more understanding about the new growth theory, offered a fresh take on the engineer economic prosperity. Yes, it, it, it is emphasized the importance of entrepreneurship, knowledge, innovation, and technology that challenging the exogenous growth that under the neoclassical theory that is economic progress is determined by external and the, the controlled forces. One of the concept and central tenet of the new growth theory is the um, competition squeezes profit. So people have to constantly seek better ways to do things or invent a new product in order to maximize the profitability. The theories argues that innovation and new technologies do not occur simply by random chances. Rather, it depends on the number of people seeking out of innovations or technologies and how hard they are looking for them. People also have control over their knowledge capital, what to study and how hard to study and etc. If the profit incentive is greater enough, people will choose to grow human capital and look harder from new innovation. In the concept of, of new growth theory, there are two important points, the technological progress and the adoption model. In the whole discussion, the new growth theory pre-assumed that the stars and wants of the populace will drive in going productivity and economic growth. A central tenet of new growth theory is that competition squeezes profit, forcing people to constantly seek better ways to do things or invent new products in order to maximize profitability. The theory emphasizes the importance of the entrepreneurship knowledge, innovation, and technology, rejecting the popular view that the economic growth is determined by external and uncontrollable forces. Knowledge is treated as an asset for growth that is not subject to finite restriction or diminishing return, like other assets such as capital or real estate. 
New growth theories believe that the companies generally undervalue the usefulness of knowledge and as a result, argue that it's mainly up to government to invest in human capital. Also, the government are encouraged to facilitate access to better education as well as provide support and incentives for private sector research and development.